So, how many times have you thought that that cable is just not quite long enough to get to the plug? Or how many times have you inadvertently cut your cable in half when you've been um, cutting your hedge with your hedge trimmers or run over it with the fly mo, the absolute classics, and ended up with two pieces of cable and you're not sure how you should join them together. Well, today we're going to have a look at how to do that. This item I have in front of me here is commonly called a chock block. Um, you will find in the DIY store that it's called a connector strip. And it is purpose-built for connecting two pieces of cable together, two pieces of electrical cable together. They come in three sizes. 5 amp, 15 amp and 30 amp. Um, I'm dealing with a 5 amp here and that would be used for um, lights and for um, appliances that do stuff. So um, things like the mixer in your kitchen or your hedge trimmer as I mentioned before. Um, those sort of things, doing things for um, television, say, uh, video recorders, that sort of stuff. The larger size, the 15 amp, um, would be used for uh, in um, appliances around the house that heat things. So um, fires, uh, electric fires, hair dryers, that sort of thing. Um, the 30 amp would be used for, um, and you're unlikely to to, to use that, they would be used for um, mains um, wiring, you know, that you don't see in the wall and so on. Um, frankly, to be honest, I wouldn't recommend using anything above a 5 amp. Uh, I don't mean for other um, larger wires, I just wouldn't use this method of joining wire together for anything bigger than appliances that, that do stuff like mixers and lights and, um, you know, um, table lamps and uh, and that sort of thing because it's not really a very safe method um, of putting two wires together uh, that are carrying very large amounts of current. You need to use something more substantial than that, which we'll look at in another video. But for things like your hedge trimmer that you've managed to cut the wire in half or a table lamp that the plug won't quite reach um, the socket when you have it where you want it to be, then this is absolutely ideal and a dead simple way of doing it. You can see this is a plastic device. It's got screws in the top here. You can see, I get my screwdriver, that uh, an electric electrical screwdriver fits in there perfectly. Um, and if I turn it on its end, you will see that there are holes in here where the wire goes in and you just screw the screw down. Um, to clamp the wire and you can quite easily see <clears throat> that you would put the wires of one side of the of the flex in this side and the corresponding wires in the other side. Now they come in strips as you can see and you can very easily cut them to correspond to the number of wires you want. Some um, wires for table lamps and so on only have a positive and a negative so you would only need two two portions of this connector strip. If you have an earth wire as well then you will need three pieces. Okay so I'm going to demonstrate it with with three pieces and what you'll need to do this um, is you'll need an electrical screwdriver, you will need a pair of wire cutters. Let me just zoom out a moment so as you can see all these instruments. These. There we go. So you'll need a you will need your chop block or your connector strip, you will need an electrical screwdriver, a pair of wire strippers. As I said in my other video I recommend you buy a set of those, they're very cheap, a few pounds um, from any DIY store. They're absolutely marvellous, a versatile tool, they do all sorts of different things. And you'll need a craft knife and you also want some insulating tape which is available at any decent DIY store as well. And so, how do we go about doing this? Well, I've got a piece of wire here. This is a, a continuous piece of wire, if you can see um, there. But I'm just going to connect both ends, uh, imagining that 
one went off to your to your lamp and the other one went off to the plug um, <clears throat> at the other end okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to strip this wire let me zoom back in a little bit more so you can see that better okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to strip this wire to expose the flex and for that we use the craft knife and you need to very carefully just cut don't cut right through the wire just score this um, so as you just try and get through the white outer portion um, of the the insulation the, the sleeve that is the outer insulation of the wire and cut that down about three three centimeters three or four centimeters okay being careful not to cut your finger at the same time then you want to pair that back using your fingernails and expose the wires that are inside as I said I've got a positive and a negative and an earth the positive is the brown negative is the blue and the green and yellow is the earth okay so now that they're exposed we now need to trim off this white part okay trim off the outer insulation and what we're left with then is the three wires now check in the process of taking this piece of outer insulation off that you haven't actually cut through any of the insulation on the three inner wires if you have I'm afraid you need to start again chop it off and do the whole process again it's a bit of an art learning how to get that outer um, sleeve off but it'll soon come to you so now you have those three what you need to do is you now need to expose the copper wire that's inside okay, so getting your wire uh, strippers and on the, the the handle part of the wire strip as you will see that there are are jaws here for stripping wire um, and they will be marked from 6 mil down to 0.75 of a mil you want the 1 mil hole for this type of flexible cable and you place the wire inside the jaws close the jaws about a centimeter a centimeter and a half sticking out and pull and there you have the exposed copper wire then you just want to twist that okay twist that up in your fingers and then put, just fold it in half there you are so you're left with a nice there you are I can show that on the camera you're left with a nice piece of copper there nice and fat doubled over ready for you to stick in in the connector strip okay now we need to do that for all the remaining the other remaining two wires on here and the, the remaining wires the three on the other end of the piece of cable that you want to join up and I will go away and do that and I will come back when it's done okay so here we are again back with all our wires stripped you can see all six of the wires now are um, have nice uh, nicely presented ends to them that are ready to go into the connector strip so what we need to do now is we need to cut a piece of this connector strip off and we obviously as there are three wires on each the wires we need three pieces of the connector strip and it cuts very easily especially if you've got one of these wire cutters so we've got three pieces and we just put it between there chop it off and there you have your your three pieces of connector strip now what we need to do is as I said there are screws in here and we just need to take our electrical screwdriver and unscrew the screws look look down through the through the holes and unscrew the screws so as they no longer um, are are uh, are um, inside the hole so as they're not obscuring or obstructing the hole anymore so as we can poke the wire in okay so get them out of the way so we have three 
open holes. Okay, so they're now out of the way. There we are. And what we need to do then is put a wire in each one and and uh, tighten down the screw on the wire. So we'll put that one into there. Now make sure when you're putting these in that you don't crimp the or put tighten the screw down onto the insulation. Make sure that it tightens down onto the exposed copper that you've created by stripping the wire. Okay. So that's one. Now I would suggest that you put the neutral on one far side, the live on the other far side, and the earth in the centre, so as the earth is keeping the live and the neutral apart. Okay, so that's now the earth in the centre. We just tighten down the screw on that. Okay, and then finally we put the live on the far side. So that's the three on that side. Okay, and then we do exactly the same thing on the other side. We make sure that the screws are um, are no longer obstructing the the hole. Okay, so we get those to come out like that. They're supplied with the screws the screws down, and we need to screw them out so as we can get the wires in. Okay, and then we just need to put the other three wires in the holes the other side. Now of course we need to make sure that we get the correct wire in the correct hole. We need to make sure that live connects up with live, neutral connects up with neutral and earth connects up with earth. So where we have a brown one on this side here we need to put the brown one corresponding on the other side. Okay, Tighten it down as we did before. Tighten down the screw onto it as so that's in and tight tighten it up there we are and then as we had the earth in the middle we'll put the earth in the middle there okay get that can be a little fiddly um, and there's the earth in place Tighten that down tightly, and then finally we put the neutral in the blue, corresponding to the blue on the other side. Okay, and there you have it. Make sure that they're nice and tight. Check each one, pull it carefully, look down inside the hole to check that you haven't actually um, tightened the screw down on the insulation. You've tightened them all down on the wires check that they're all individually very tight in each of their holes. Double check then that you've got the wires correctly, brown to brown, yellow and green to yellow and green, blue and blue together, and that is your connection. One last thing to do, this, there are obviously exposed, not really exposed, you would have difficulty in, in actually managing to um, to, to get your fingers in there and electrocute yourself unless you purposely put another piece of something metal in and poked about. However, it's good practice to make sure that you protect this. And the way to do that is to wrap some insulating tape around. Okay, so we just get some of this plastic insulating tape, PVC insulating tape, and we wrap it around the whole thing. Okay, just wrap it round so as it protects the whole thing from any, especially if you have children around, you know, from any inquisitive hands poking about, nothing, nobody, no, no children's fingers, or anything can now get in to that. Okay, that's now completely protected. It doesn't look very sightly, it's not something you would want on show, but it is the cheapest and easiest way to connect two sets of wires up together and there you have it that is your 5 amp connection two wires together 
for extending light cables or putting back together a chopped cable from, um, from a hedge trimmer or your electric mower and, um, and that's perfectly safe. Now as I say it doesn't look very sightly but it is a perfectly safe way of joining those two wires together. Till next time, ta -ra.